Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Spare Parts, and today I'll be reviewing set number 75089, the Geonosis Troopers Battle Pack. This set came out in the year 2015, and came with 105 pieces, and it retailed for $12.99. I know, that's crazy, now battle packs are like $20, but anyway, we'll see if that's worth it. So here is a first look at the set. As you can see, here is the walker, and here are the new and unique Geonosis Troopers. So these weren't really in a movie or anything, I think it's just a concept lego invented just to like pair with the geonosis battle droids or something but i think they look really cool at first glance and they do come with these stud shooters but i did not give them to them because when they hold them they're really off balanced and i don't like that starting with the play features of the walker it is a pretty basic walker i mean it was only in like a 13 dollar set so it is kind of like a side build in most sets but I think it has some pretty good posability, like you can move the legs like most other walkers, you can kind of put it in some weird poses like that, but you can kind of have it like, let's see if I can get in back to where they were, but you can kind of have it like walk a little bit, I don't know, yeah, like that, so it kind of looks like it's walking, that's kind of nice, it does look a little weird because it's a little bit short, but you can kind of have different poses, poses with it, like you know, it's super tall. I don't know. There's there's options there if you want to pose and mess around with the legs. I kind of just keep it like this because it just looks kind of normal. And I think this is kind of how you're supposed to have it, just like that. But yeah, anyway, something else you can do with the walker is you can put the minifigures in it, which is something I'm glad they did. If they didn't do that, it'd be kind of weird. But anyway, you just kind of put them in the top. Up here, there is a two stud area where you stick them. So it is a little hard to get them out, but you just stick them in there. And then you push this back up, and then he's in the walker. And they don't really have a control panel, which is kind of weird because most Star Wars sets kind of have a control panel. Instead, it just has this black piece. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be. I mean, I know it's like that connector piece, but it's kind of a weird control panel. I don't really know why it's there, but I guess it works. And then there's also room in the back for another trooper. And I think he's supposed to face backwards, so you just kind of put them back there it is four studs again on the bottom so it is a little bit harder to get them out we just stick them there and then he kind of sits back there that looks pretty cool and you can also put your extra stud shooters back there for storage so that's kind of nice gives it some defense i think that looks super cool so we can't talk about play features and not talk about the biggest play feature in the set and that is the six stud shooter right here because apparently this was new at the time which was 2015 so they wanted to put it on a battle pack. And in my opinion, it looks kind of weird. It's pretty oversized for a set like this, but it's still pretty cool. And the way it works is in the back here, there is this little crank and you twist it and it rapid fires these out and they go everywhere. It's just like, oh my gosh, they just go everywhere and then you have to go find them. But it's super cool. I think they can knock down a minifigure, but yeah, it's a nice play feature. It's just, I'm not a real big fan of stud shooters and I'm not really sure if more stud shooters was what the LEGO community was asking for at this point. If you so prefer to, you could also take it off. And honestly, I think that looks kind of better. I don't know, it looks kind of normal. Like it doesn't look, it looks less misshapen and weighed down. So yeah, if you wanted to have it like this, you could have it like that as well. The first two clone troopers in the set are just recolorations of the normal, I think phase one, maybe phase two clone troopers. Anyway, they look really good. They look really good for blending in with Cheetonosis, and I think that they have some pretty good printing on the front and the back. Yeah, they're actually pretty detailed on the back, and I really like how the leg connector piece is a different color than the legs. It's pretty nice. And then underneath the helmet, they have just normal clone angry faces. So yeah, pretty nice figures. The next two troopers in the set are, I think, maybe the commanders or something. I kind of wish that they would label on the instruction manuals, like, which troopers are which. I'm not sure, but these guys are different. It seems like they have, like, air filtration systems or something, and their hood seems like, or their helmet seems more like a hood. But yeah, they have, like, basically the same printing, except for, like, a strap across their chest, which I think I really like that better than the normal one. And then on the back, some more detailed printing with the strap. And they also have the same leg printing, I think, and underneath these nice helmet hood things. I don't think this uh, mold is exclusive. I think it's used as used as something else as well. I'm not really sure what. But underneath they have different head pieces. These are like more like kind of skeptical or just normal clone heads. So yeah, very nice. 
Also, if you are wondering, they all do come with stud shooters, unfortunately. If you don't know how they work, you just press down on the top and the stud goes flying out like that, never to be seen again. Now time to talk about price per piece if you take that into account when buying a set. So this set released for $12.99 or $13. That was back in 2015. So it's basically like $15 today, somewhere around there. And it was 105 pieces, so that's like... That's like 15 cents a piece if you look at it for $15, but at the time it was 13, so it's more like 13 cents a piece. I don't know. That's a little much, but for a battle pack, it kind of makes sense because you get like four exclusive minifigures, so I don't know. I think it was fair for the time. I mean, I don't really understand why LEGO is putting their battle packs at $20 nowadays when, I don't know, inflation doesn't really make it go up to $20, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I think this was really good for the time, especially with the prices we're getting nowadays on battle packs. I don't really know if I'm actually going to take design into account on this set, but I guess I will. I mean, it's a battle pack, so really you're buying it for the minifigures, but I guess it's nice if you get like a decent build. I think this one's okay. I mean, I really like the antenna on the top. I don't know. It's just, I feel like it adds a lot of depth or height and it looks super cool. I mean, without it, it kind of just looks bland but I, I don't know i like the antenna i don't really know why and another thing i like is i was watching this video it was like a lego animation of the set for when they released it like a promotional video and they had they showed this thing like kind of go down like this to let troopers out i mean it's kind of a play feature but i don't even know if they did that intentionally but i don't know that's kind of cool cool design i guess there's one complaint i have about the set and that is right here it's just studs and i feel like that could have used some like covering like maybe these pieces these cheese slopes could have gone up there as well i feel like that would have looked better but overall i think it has pretty good design i don't like this that much but it's it's a cool piece to be honest and I, I don't like such very much but it's nice it's good play feature there are no stickers and prints in this set however you do get some of these nice like orangish tan pieces which i think you can't find in a lot of sets so if you were like building a geonosis mock or something this would be a pretty good set to pick up Especially since there's some Geonosis clone troopers in it. So, yeah, no stickers and prints, but that makes sense because it is a battle pack and they don't usually have those. Usually this is where accuracy would go, but since this is just an original concept, there's nothing to say it's accurate towards. I mean, maybe the walker is, like, accurately shaped ATST or whatever, which it isn't. I don't know. It's accurate to the instruction manual print. How about that? So overall, my feelings on this set are actually pretty straightforward. I think it's a really good set, probably a 9 out of 10. I feel like the build is actually kind of decent here with some really good play features. It's just there's like a few problems with like, I feel like this could be like tiled off better. And I don't know, I have mixed feelings on the cannon, but you can always take it off. And the minifigures are great. Like even though they're just recolorations, they're still exclusive. And I think if there were Geonosis clone troopers, this is probably what they'd look like. So... Great job, Lego. I think you made a great set. 9 out of 10. It's definitely worth picking up if you can get it for the price that it was when it was released, like $13.99 or $12.99. But nowadays, I think this set is like $70. So unless you can find it used, I wouldn't buy it. But anyway, really good set. So there you have it, guys. That's my review of set number 75089, the Geonosis Trooper Battle Pack. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.